Hello, Geralt. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the Master's. So how can we help you, eh? We? <laughs> Who's this boss that he's talking about? Is he like talking to his, like, smithing ancestors or something? Hmm, let's trade. I don't suppose you have any silver, my good man. Because I'm looking for some. Weapons... Silver-plated sword. Oh, he just sells them outright. Wait, really? I could just buy a, a silver sword from him, just like that. It seems. For what is that? 60... 62 orins. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I didn't knew. Oh, yeah, he does. He does sell... Oh, God, and it's expensive, too. So, mm, silver plated isn't a silver sword, though. It's plated. It means that on the outside it's silver, but on the inside it's something else. Mm, I'm not sure. Let's, um... How about this? So... Uh, what about crafting me an item? Let's go back to this. So... Um, ah, here we go. Witcher's Silver Sword. Yeah, this is what I was looking at before, and that's where I, I figured out about the uh, the two silver ore. I didn't even think that he would actually sell this stuff, though. So that's actually really convenient. That's what we'll do, then. Uh, let's see. Iron ore, silver ore. So I need two, two of these. There we go. That should do it. So, sure. and craft me an item. So I've got tons of oil. Oh wait, what's this? Or no, that's something for some. A little bit. That's for something else. Here we go. Yeah, I've got tons of diamond dust, timber, iron ore. All I needed was the uh, the silver. So we're good to go. Item completed. Sweet. I mean, to be real honest, I didn't find that uh, my steel sword was all that bad uh, when fighting those monsters from before. By the way, the reason why I'm suddenly popping back here in town uh, at the the, uh, the smith is because I was trying to continue exploring and stuff like that, but the game actually crashed again. I thought I was done with uh, crashes and stuff like that while recording, but apparently I'm not. I urge you to be consistent. I don't give a shit about your guild. I'll not join that racket nor change my prices. My weapons are superior, and that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects, and accidents do happen. Fires are common enough in smithies, and a broken arm can make it very difficult to forge weapons. You threatening me, dipshit? Piss off! And don't come back, or I'll thrash you so hard, even your plowing guild won't help you! <laughs> That's right, you tell him. What the hell is your problem, bruh? Alright, check that out, though. I got two swords on my back. That's awesome. At your service. Thanks a lot. Uh, what's what's your name? Ber Berthold. Berthold. Good man, Berthold. Good man. Alright, so... Let's get out there and see what the new Silver Sword is like. It should be... Yep, right there. Two of them, as always. Oh, shit. Damn it. And Necker is coming, too. This might not be good. Oh, he's distracting her for me. Nice. You know, I'll be honest, I don't seem much of a difference. But I'm gonna trust that, uh. Oh, damn it! Shit, I'm poisoned. Ooh, you know what? I kinda do actually at that time. I do notice a little bit of a difference. Seems just a little bit speedier. 
What do we got? Some Indraga stuff. That Necker went down quick, didn't he? More Indraga. There's a... Oops. Wrong button. There we go. That's what I meant to press. Is that... Yeah, that's the Necker parts. There's a trap around here somewhere. I see another Indraga over there. Yeah, there's a trap over there. Is he gonna come over here or not? Huh. What's the... Ah. Right about here is the aggro range. Okay. Bring it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can see the difference now. Yeah, it's, it's significantly faster. Significantly. Alright, so, I wonder how many of these, uh, Andraga and Neckers I have to kill. Because I did pick up from the, uh, the notice board a couple of contracts, including killing, uh, Neckers and Andraga. Also Troll, as well. But the thing is, it doesn't give me any, um, it doesn't actually tell me how many. That's kind of the strange thing. It just, you know, it's just talking about them being a nuisance. Cool. Well, we proved that the Silver Sword definitely uh, kills things swifter than steel. That poison. That poison is pretty serious. Hopefully I can uh, unlock some talents that will give me more resistance to uh, things like that. Poisons and bleeds and so on. Uh, it's still quite bright outside, so I don't think I can um, visit Laredo just yet. What I should probably do is I'm taking your pouch. go back to the um, go back to the tavern. Yeah, killing the crane, crane, Kaeran. I want to say Kraken, but it's not a Kraken. Kaeran. Anyway, dude, are you serious? Quality. He's fucking pissing right there. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they got anything to say around here. Boys! Dandelion! Haha! <laughs> Damn, that was close! Innkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Full Test? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Full Test died. And the dragon. Was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivelle, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. Where were the mages? Aye, where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? 
They weren't invited, and neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorv with Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. No. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Oh shit, is that the Karen? Why don't you stand there, you idiot? Sorceress, are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. <laughs> Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Just slap the shit out of him, please. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. <laughs> I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get plowed. Come on, lads! I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kairan was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths, right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my, your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. 
What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. That's hardly correct. Cedric claims the Kayran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward. Pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. I'll be happy to visit. My, my, my. The plot thickens, if you know what I mean. Mm. So, um... <laughs> did anybody else notice every time they cut to looking at uh, Geralt, he was staring at her tits? <laughs> Talk to the merchants on the waterfront. Alright. <laughs> well, that was really interesting. Um, where the hell am I? This is... This is interesting as well. I didn't even see any of this before. Unless this wasn't even accessible before until now. I have no idea. Don't catch ya. What the... Is this? Yep. This can be opened. And what do we have? A whole lot of nothing in here. Wait. Aha! Wire and twine. What do we got? Uh, phosphorescent crystal. Ooh. Oh, wow. There was a lot more than that. Jesus. That, all kinds of stuff. Place lures in the pocket slots in the inventory to set lures. Press R. Lures are most effective when used. Arr, so fast. Lures are most effective when used for something. Let's climb this ladder. Ah, more stuff up here. Right here. Broom, orange, mandrake, all kinds of stuff. Nice, nice. And more. More to explore. But yeah, I really love The Witcher for its, uh, its grittiness. Everything just seems, I don't know, so raw. <laughs> like it's, it's not a pretty, pretty game with lots of pretty people and this fantasy world and things like that. There's just dirt and grime and disgustingness everywhere in this game. It's great. You won't find a atmosphere like this in a Final Fantasy RPG, that's for sure. Not this much, at least. 